Welcome to Moho Adventures. We're Natasha and Martin, and we live and travel full time in our motorhome. Currently, we're exploring Scotland, and this episode, we travel across to Harris and Lewis in the Outer Hebrides. As we arrived late in the day, we headed for this approved motorhome park up just outside Tarbot. There's no formal charge, um, but they do ask you to give a donation of about five pounds. This is Hassini's on the west of, I guess it's North Paris, yeah, uh, over in the Outer Hebrides. Beautiful sunny day, and look at this beach. I mean, it's insane. Just pure white sands, dunes at the back. That is it. Loving it. Crystal clear. Hey you! Sheep have come for a visit. And they're not sure what's going on. No. Like, why is your van parked in an ass space? <laughs> <laughs> come on then. Come for dinner. Yeah, I mean you, not... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> won't have to defrost this one. <laughs> um, someone's come on, Lamb. You coming in? Hey, you. <laughs> After spending two lovely sunny days at the beach at Hassini's, we headed north on the only main road uh, and pulled over into this beautiful lay-by, which had a fantastic view. sand all the way and there's nobody here <laughs> brilliant yeah so this is our royal sands um there's a campsite here which we stayed at basically just a, it's just a park up um, just virtually nobody oh there are a couple of people in the distance there of the Hebrides in Stornoway and uh, came for a wander around town about four shops maybe two pubs no cafes there is this beautiful shipping port 
but I can't get a decent picture of it unfortunately. This is where we part. Very unexciting. So, Stornoway, what do we think? I'll let you go first. <laughs> <laughs> That's it all really, doesn't it? So I was in a bit of a need for a people fix. Obviously we're in the middle of nowhere and have been for a while and whilst it's wonderful wonderful to be a bit remote i have been craving humans so we thought we would come to stornoway and just sort of spend the afternoon in a cafe or in a bar or just somewhere to be around people so we parked up a stornoway and we walked into town today um <laughs> was it about six shops there's not a lot of it we had no. to a hunt for a cafe we found a cafe that was dog friendly the first one we found was dog friendly so that was really good uh we went in and we were the only people in there um we had a nice bit of cake uh but we could have done that in the van for about a quarter of the price um <laughs> bought the world's most expensive cards as oh well, my so goodness good. yeah. yes they yes. like a little shop in there as well yeah so like well, nice. I mean, they're lovely local, cards they are, like, they they are, are really nice. lovely are cards nice. Um, you know, it's just quite difficult to get nice cards, um, and they're blank as well, so I can use them for anything. But yeah, they 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 were not cheap. Um, well, and made on the island, you know. Wow, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, storm away. Um, if it was up to me, we'd be leaving right now. Um, no, no, you weren't. But Martin's got a meeting tonight, so we're going to stick around tonight. There's well, a Tesco's. Go to a meeting. Yay! Um, there's a Tesco's literally <laughs> just up the road and a laundrette, so we'll have a um, a domestic day tomorrow um, and move on again. But um, I love a bit of clothes washing and shopping. I know you do. <laughs> I know you love it. Well, at least we'll get that done because it has we been um, probably best part of two weeks. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Yep, and while you're doing that, I'll either do some work or some van cleaning. And uh, yeah, there we go. So that's, that's it. it. Yeah, away. Yay! Not a lot in Stornoway, really. Um, <laughs> they the say port. the Outer Hebrides is the back or beyond. And um, yeah. They were, they were correct. Very yeah. little happening. I think uh, uh, last night we were complaining there was a load of um, uh, youngsters in their cars and they've got all these really noisy exhausts. And they were just driving round and round and round the town for hours and it was really starting to do my head in. It's just like, have they got nothing better to do? Well, the answer to that is no, Probably not, they no. don't. So maybe I'll be a bit more tolerant of them tonight. <laughs> There's literally nothing better to do. No, there isn't. That is the best thing to do. Drive around, meet each other in your cars. and uh... Make as much noise with your exhaust as you can. face says it all <laughs> another um interesting adventurous day uh, we uh no, it's not interesting <laughs> it's a nightmare we went to tesco's did some shopping wonderful wonderful went to get some lpg and then martin decided that he was going to have a fight with the jcb and the jcb won <laughs> There was a JCB oh, part at the back of the garage that we tried to turn around from getting the LPG to get some diesel. Um, oh misjudged my. it slightly and one of the teeth caught the um, Yeah, like, you know, like a dig bumper. digger bucket with the pointy prongs. I kind of reversed back next to it and turned and I thought there was enough room for the swing and it just literally, the, two, the tooth bit just... <laughs> cut into the panel yeah. just on the back corner put cut into this little bit of panel rip the back of the bumper off all the light rip through the wood uh, it's bent the metal um we'll drop a picture a in we'll drop a picture in um to see it, show you what it was but uh, do you know what it's it's okay martin's really upset with himself he's feeling really guilty <laughs> and um but do you know oh. what it's it's happened and we just need to put it right and there's no point in stressing and whatever about it i mean yeah there's a lot of damage we'll have to phone the insurance to see what they can do 
Uh, we couldn't get anything to tape it up with. We got seven tape to get us up the forecourt, which was rubbish. Um, <laughs> fortunately, there was a DIY store not so far away. Yeah, so, so we managed to go and get some uh, decent masking tape. So we yeah. just duct tape the life yeah, out of it. Now, we so have. It's, it's all secure. We and... have together uh, and the so, lights work so lights it's work. functional and so it's all safe and all good a, to go we just pulled into an a by and a mess, isn't it? we're now just working <laughs> out kind of what we do from here um just had a lovely guy just pull up and just check on us make sure we're all right and there are people in the garage saying oh i'll just hang around and i'll take you anywhere you need to go and yeah the, the people nice. are just so lovely the people are so so friendly we're not quite sure if it's going to have an impact on our travels from here. Yeah, I um, just don't know now. We are going to go and find a nice proper park up for overnight, gather ourselves. Martin can just kind of chill you know out. chill out and <laughs> meditate and and get his head around. Um, yeah, all that's that's happened. And tomorrow's another day. Uh, we'll contact the insurance company tomorrow, <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Uh, if we have to cut Scotland short, then we can always come back and finish it another time. It really doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. That's today's adventures, and I think that's probably over and out for today. That's the kind of adventure I could do. Though. Yeah, I know. Mm. I know. Bless him. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and gingerly drive a couple of miles down the road. No, it'll be fine. It's, <laughs> it's so secure now. Oh, I'm talking about you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, catch you later. I'm not going to be reversing. That's <laughs> So we thought we found our park up for tonight, but the wind is getting up really, really strong. Um, looks like the storms probably hit a day early. So we are just battling down the hatches again and um, <laughs> going to move on down towards Tarbot, which is much lower level. We're still quite up in the hills. Um, so we're going to move on down. But um, yeah, the typical, the minute you put the camera on, it goes quiet, but it is really quite noisy and it's just the gusts it's blowing the van about quite a lot and if it's due to get worse it's just i don't feel safe so we're gonna go and find some lower ground to position ourselves on <laughs> hopefully it'll be better hopefully yeah. <laughs> how windy it is you can see it blowing over the loch last time we came up here that was calm as anything Surrounded. Oh, he's close. Thank you, Ellie. Oh. 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 <laughs> Hi. Hello. This is Storm Alex, and we're pretty much That's in it. the eye of it. It is. That's what it's called. Isn't I think it? it's called Alex. Yeah, we're pretty much in the eye of it, and to be honest, it's not much fun. We're currently on the Isle of Harris, um, yeah. blowing an absolute holy. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> chucking it down with rain. Mm. The van is rocking and rolling away, but not for the reasons why most people's vans rock and roll away. Uh, we've been kind of stuck in here now for two days. Yeah. Got to probably at least another day, day and a half um, before it's really going to be safe to go anywhere. We're getting a little bit short on supplies. There is a a waste and refill place only about three miles down the road, but I'm not sure it's safe to move a high sided vehicle. We're having lots of conversations about it at the moment, aren't we? It's to do with your yeah, don't we? It's not. Um... When the gusts come here, they're just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not sure it's worth the risk. And yeah, you know, if anything <laughs> else happens to the van, if it you know goes over or anything, that's our worldly belongings. It's not just like taking a risk of 
going out in a car or, or whatever. I mean, everything we own is in this van. Um, so we do have to be very careful and sort of very respectful of it, really. Um, yeah, not having the best time right now. It's not quite the, the dream that we had um, imagined, but we've got a ferry book back on Monday. We booked it a few days ago, but as soon as we get was Monday. Yeah. Um, so again, we're it just it's just not the sort of life that we're we're used to. We're used to having so much on tap, and it's just like, oh, let's book a ferry and go tomorrow or whatever. And it's really not like that here. Um, so yeah, kind of, it's not much fun, and we're feeling kind of trapped for four days more than we wanted to be here anyway. Yeah, um, but I think it's, it was nice when the weather was nice and yeah. we could get out. Um, yeah, you know, it wasn't glorious or anything, but if it, if yeah. it was 16, 17, and, yeah. and sunny, you know, it was it was lovely. Yeah. But once it gets like this and it's like horizontal rain and gusts of 50, 60 miles an hour. Yeah, it's also cold. You can't do anything. It's about nine um, degrees. We've got winter jumpers on, blankets. Um, it's very damp. Um, yeah, not really. It's not really the, the June dream that we had envisaged. I mean, we kind of... doesn't look know. like June that I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, all our just... friends down south basking in sort of 20 degree temperatures, our little strappy tops on. I'm like, no, that was fair. supposed to be what we were doing. <laughs> well, obviously not in Scotland. Not in Scotland, no. I didn't envisage it being quite as bad as it has. I don't know whether no. we're just unlucky, but yeah, we've had like two months of really bad lots weather. Lots and lots of rain. We've um, had, we've had Virtually hardly any sun apart from the last week. Um, there was a couple of isolated days, weren't there? Two or three isolated days, yeah. and then last week was lovely, and now we're just back to the rain again. We've agreed that we're going to give it another two weeks once we get back to the mainland, and unless we're both feeling a lot more positive about Scotland, I think we might cut the trip short um, and maybe come back and do the rest of yeah, it another we'll just, time. Yeah, we'll just whiz around it and yeah. see, see a few things and head back because. Yeah. If you're not enjoying it, it's no fun. Right? No, I mean, no. And I, I don't think... want to be sat in a van in the pissing rain seven days a week. No, it's just no. It, it's, it goes against the whole point of having the van. You it, know? Yeah, it, it does. It does. And whilst we it thought it'd us... be nice to go to Scotland in the summer, um, but apparently... yeah, and we also did it. We also <laughs> did it for not. Max, didn't we? Because he doesn't cope with the hot weather very much. No, so kind true. of that was part of our thinking. And now he's no longer with us. No. Right. Um, so yeah whilst it's sort of you know it forces us to get on and do some work there's got to be more to life than work and we've worked now three days flat out and, and it's great and we've achieved some brilliant stuff and you know we're really making progress but novelty's worn off a bit now <laughs> <laughs> so i need a break um yeah and obviously it's a very small space and we are literally just like in this tiny space together we can't get out and, and go for a walk or do our own thing or, or get any... Well, any... you could, but you'll get blown well, away. Well, yeah, huh? I think that's it called... Well, almost lost Bailey. <laughs> yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> Took her out for a wee earlier and yeah. She almost got blown she away. She almost went off like a kite, bless her. She's only did he. Um, yeah, I think it's called... Is it called cabin fever or something? Cabin when fever. you're just like, I've got to get out! <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not good. But yeah, it's not even like we can just wrap up and just brace the weather. Well, you could. Uh, if it was just if it were just wet, you could, but you just you can't walk in it. You can't breathe in it. It's just horrendous. The uh, wind speeds, uh, the wind gusts are about fifty mile an hour, according to the forecast. Yeah, it's not pleasant. Fifty, sixty mile an hour. So yeah, it's just yeah. Anyway, we don't usually come on and moan, but we promised that we'd be truthful. And at the moment, and we're, we're moan. We're feeling truthful. <laughs> we're going to moan about the weather because it's utter shit. I don't know how anyone in the Outer Hebrides lives like this. No, two, two seasons. seasons. In Harris. There's winter and June. <laughs> <laughs> Last week was June. Now Last we're in winter June, again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, not on to Maine, but just yeah, we are. We. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We promised. Preventing. Yeah, well, we <laughs> promised we'd be truthful about our van life experience, and as much as it's been 99% good and wonderful so far at the moment, it's Shit. not so good and wonderful. Shit. And we've also damaged the van, which has put a bit of a bleh on us as well. Yeah. Um, a bit worried about how that's going to pan out, but we can't do anything about it till we're back on the mainland. 
So we do need supplies, but we have um, the power's low, but we do have a generator, so we can put the generator on and get some power to the van. Um, gas is okay. Yeah. We're running low on tank water, but we can wash our hands with gel. Use minimal water for, for flushing. Um, and we've got is it about 10, 12 litres of water on board, drinking water. Yeah, we've got that. Yeah, so yeah, that might have to do us the two days. Um, and fortunately, we have a, a spare um, toilet cassette. Cartridge, toilet cassette. Yeah. So yeah, we and, and yeah, it, and a box for it. So which needs to be changed now. Yeah. So we'll we'll put the, <laughs> the spare one in, um, and sort that out. So yeah, we have got provisions and um, stuff in hand for getting stranded or getting you know in situations like this. But um, it's all part of the adventure. We've been whinging for seven minutes. Well, you have. <laughs> <laughs> I just joined you occasionally. <laughs> right, I <hey>, run out. <laughs> it's June the eleventh, would you believe? You've got gloves on and a hat because he's freezing so. cold. Must admit, I am sat here in a woolly jumper and a blanket, but yeah, eleventh of June. It's a bit ridiculous. This place is shit. <laughs> <laughs> The farmer's just gone up the road and put his hazard lights on and the cows have come out of nowhere and they all just run into the farmer, it's so cute. I think that's the bull. Oh, it's the big man. I suppose now all the calves are born and a bit older, he's out to do his job once more. <laughs> we're free, we're free. The storm's finally <laughs> over and we've finally managed to move and get somewhere else. We're at Luskin Tire Beach. Um, this is the sand dunes behind us. So, um, Bailey's running around like a nutter somewhere. It's like she's just been like um, bolted out of a cannon and yeah, she's well, gone mad. Three days being all up, which is a ball of energy. Yeah, three days of cabin fever is enough for anyone. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> we're free. sand 
for me driving. Isn't it? Turquoise. What would that be like in the sun? It's more blue. We're not parked in a parking place, we're just parked in the road. We just stopped in the middle just of the road. Stopped in the middle of the road because there's nobody around. It's only anyway. an A road. There you go, <laughs> Perhaps Sunday afternoon, and uh, we're leaving the island first thing tomorrow morning. Um, so uninventively we are literally just parked up outside the ferry port doesn't seem to be any sign saying you can't so i think we're gonna look see you can't get any closer we hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free join us next time as we keep heading northbound and taking our own version of the NC500. Until next time, we'll see you then.